Hey cruisers, it's Sherry from Cruise Tips TV. Today we're going to talk about the hotly debated topic of walkie talkies on cruise ships. We're not going to tell you if you should or shouldn't use them. We're simply going to offer some tips to help you if you're considering them for your next cruise. And if you stick around until the end of the video, we'll let you know what we've decided. We thought it would be fun to start with a quick pros and cons list and follow that up with a few tips. First up, the pros. I'll handle the cons. Really? We're going to do the old split screen routine? Yep, I like it. <sighs> okay, but I was here first. Let's get started. All right, now for the pros. Walkie talkies are a fun way to communicate and can possibly save a few trips back and forth to the room. You probably won't be able to communicate by text or cell while on board and walkie talkies provide a decent alternative. They're great for keeping in touch with kids or when you're traveling with a group. They can be terrific for shopping. I can look at what I want while my husband can wander off and look at what he likes. You get to feel like a secret agent, although that feeling doesn't last very long. Okay, your turn. In our experience, they don't work well consistently. The beeping, buzzing, and loud, what, can you hear me, is likely to annoy other passengers. They may be illegal in some destination countries, and you therefore would not be able to use them off the ship. Anyone using the same unprotected frequency can listen in. If you're traveling light, they can be one more thing to carry around, and don't guys look silly with stuff clipped to their belts. Okay, you can go now. Here's the list again. And now a few tips if you're considering using walkie-talkies on a cruise ship. Always be courteous and aware of your surroundings. It's usually pretty easy to see when people are annoyed. Consider using a plug-in earpiece. It will help you hear more and help others hear less. Don't be fooled. Many units advertise extreme ranges, like 25 to 35 miles. And while these claims may be true in ideal locations and conditions, a cruise ship is assuredly not an ideal location for a walkie-talkie. And shouting probably won't help a garbled or static-ridden conversation. If your inside voice doesn't work, turn it off. Or you could consider a more low-tech solution. Okay, so we bought the Motorola MR350R 35 mile pair back when these were the most favored unit available. We had good luck with them the first time out, but on the next cruise, ooh, they were pretty unreliable. We consider taking them from time to time, but ultimately it's just one more thing to pack, one more thing to charge, and make space for on an already cluttered counter. But do we still use them? Sure. You never know when you're going to need a flashlight. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and oh yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Psst, don't forget to subscribe. Click me or use the links below. One more thing, everybody has an opinion about walkie-talkies on cruise ships. Take a moment to share yours in the comments below.